So when we were given this opportunity, I was ready to be, you know, not a hater. I'm never a hater, but I was ready to be like, you know, as honest as possible as I can here and came away instead in love with this game. Uh, so excited for launch and so excited for us to be able to play together. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I just need to make it simple as hell, but I just never write it down, you know? Get out of the garden, yeah. Frank. What's her name, Frank? Frank, yeah. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Um, and so, when we got in here and really started playing, we were just so enamored with what we were, what what this game offers. Get out of the way, dude. Uh, the animals, the animals get in the way too. And I was like trying to chop some stuff down earlier. <laughs> they like kept getting pet instead. And so, yeah, there's a lot of little things we really love in this game. For example, the traversal. Look at this chat. You can just climb mountains with jumps. You can jump down. One of the things we really love, again, just as uh, talking to farming sim fans, right? One of the things we really love <clears throat> is the one button for all tools. So here, I'm gonna cut this tree down with the X. Okay. And then I'm gonna come over to this, this, this bush, and I'm gonna scythe it. X. I didn't do anything. I didn't have to switch over to my my on my toolbar or anything. I'm gonna dig with X. I'm gonna. There's no rocks here. But if there were rocks here, I would have been able to hit them with X. Such a a good streamlining of yeah. a lot of things here in a way that makes it really accessible too. <laughs> um, sometimes it feels like farming sims are like, we have to do it this way because that's how Stardew did it. That's how uh, Harvest Moon did it. And this game says, you know, we can really make this a lot easier to, to um, uh, approach. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's going to give it to you. It's a ton of quality of life improvements. And it's just a mixing of other genres, right? Like, again, so many other games you'd have to like, if I wanted to come up here, I'd have to go all the way around. And it's just like. By adding a jump and adding the ability to, you know, and not have these invisible walls block you off from areas, you can just go wherever you want. You can jump on rooftops. You can go everywhere. That's that's probably my two biggest highlights from today is the traversal and just the ease of play. Um, do, you, what, what, do you have any, what are your notes, your big notes from the day? Oh, gosh. I'm a hunger brain right now. Let me think. <laughs> hunger games? Yeah. Look at this. I'm on a rooftop. <clears throat> I mean, definitely those are big ones for me. I think one thing I pointed out earlier is this right here, the selling. Yeah, so there's, um, this is like, how you sell instead of at the... There's no, like, drop-off box that you go and leave all your raw dead fish in overnight and someone comes to collect it. <laughs> Um, you, you, you put you, it here, it actually displays the items, which is cool, and then it's just kind of like a cool, you know, addition to the community feel that you're here with all the other merchants, you know? You're not different than them, you're not better than them, you're just, you're all trying to make it through and support each other, and there's a buyer for everyone, you know? Yeah, well, the, I, I was gonna say, the charm on multiple different levels, like the almost like family-friendly charm, the goofy writing charm like it's mm -hmm. it's got it in like all over the the visual style is great yeah there's been some good writing some good humor in the writing and like self-aware of like you know being cheeky about things that are silly and like unbelievable about um farming sims so we're like four we we played for like five hours and yet we still have only unlocked one mine there's three different mines and I oh, know I that there know are that. dungeons as well. Mm -hmm. If you see, here, let me actually, I can get to one right now. If you see spots like, yeah, there it is. Whee. This is cool too. This is how you refill your water. Can you just jump in the water? There are six romanceable characters. We'll show them in a second. I know that's always, that's huge for our, uh, our audience in particular. Yeah. It's it's not a lot of characters, but they're cute. and so like I think we were kind of disappointed at first, like oh my gosh, only six. Like, but it seems like they they but... it has the same thing that's similar to Sunhaven, uh -huh. where there's like dates, there's you know like there's there's probably more structure to it than like 
you just give them gifts every day and then one day you get married, you know? Yeah. Oh, and the other thing, yeah, you were going to say with romance. What was I going to say? I was oh, just going to say there were only a few, but they were all really cute. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going to finish with. But what the, the cool thing about it, not Polly, sadly, Sam, but there is, you can go all the way to the end of a romance chain and decide you don't want to marry that person or be in a relationship with that person and then go to someone else. Like, as so many other games, it's like, if you get that far, you're just kind of, you're just, that's your romance, you know? Mm -hmm. You can't really back out. And if you do, like, they hate you now or something, you know what I mean? Like, some games do that. Here, it's like, no, you can just decide, you know what? This relationship isn't what I thought it was, and that's fine, you know? But you can still see all of those, like, relationship events. Yeah, exactly. All the way through the chain, which, which is Which is, cool. I know a lot of people would love that, right? Like, to, to be able to see all the scenes, the romance scenes with multiple characters without having to do multiple playthroughs. Yeah. So these these are uh, little seals <laughs> that I think I think take you to dungeons. Oh, is that what they're for? Yeah, I think these take you to dungeons, and so there's full on dungeons that you go to. You should look for the citrine one. Fancy. We fancy. have citrine now. Um. Yeah. This it, it really did surprise us. Um. And not in a way that like we thought it was gonna be bad at, at all, but we just, you know, we and again. Initially thought it was a higher price than it actually is. We initially, you know, we just had some, we just had some skepticism. Yeah. Uh, which is healthy. And we came away super impressed with our time here today. Again, did not, do not have to say this. This was not <laughs> like, please hype up our game. This was just play our game. Let people know what you think. And really impressed, really excited. I do not think so, Glory, because that is the last message from you was, oh, that's fun. And then did my last message not go through? <laughs> oh, and this happens. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I was going to say, for any any late covers, you got to show them. Check this out, chat. Ready? Look at this. If anything, you know what that does? It really highlights that traversal, right? Like, when you can do that and jump and just be above the entire town and see it all, you're like, oh, my God. It's really cool. Release is September 8th. That's why, yeah, it's yeah. coming very soon. September 8th, PC uh, via Steam and Epic Game Store, $40. And on Switch for $60. So, lots... Lots of opportunities. Cross-play across both Switch and PC is, is how I understand it. Um, nice. Yeah, coming very soon. Thanks again to uh, Phoenix Labs and, and Keymailer is the, uh, the site we were working with, and they got us in here. Um, Thank you, Sam, for relaying in chat also. <laughs> Yeah, it's coming very soon. This will be at PAX, so we'll probably have some footage, and I'll probably want to stop by there and just be like, hey, guys, this is sick. I'm hey, excited. we played your game? Pretty cool. Just so you know. <clears throat> Did you know this game that you made? Pretty cool, pretty fun. I'm trying to see if I can get up here. Yo, oh. sequence break. Whoa, 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 whoa. No! We didn't even explore the cold area yet. Let's go! <laughs> oh, you gamed it. Because they they're block they purposely don't want you to come up here yet. See? Look at how cool. Here, I'll show fishing real quick to end. Since it seems like there might not be too many questions. Too many other questions. Oh, and then we'll show the romance. We didn't show the romance options yet. True. We just get a fish. So everyone's curious about. <laughs> Um, they're not mouse ears. They're just like little puffs. Fern got this? I, I got them when I was working at the movie theater. I got it, like, we would do sort of like dress up sometimes when like a big release would come out. It wasn't like mandated, but um, I'm just about that bullshit, you know? So I, I was, I got these for, um... Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. And it was, and I had a, God, what are they called? Ewoks? Yeah. I can't remember any words right now. 
Um, I have a sweater with Ewoks on them. And then I got these ears and I was just going to do like a casual little like no, Ewok three, cosplay. So fishing is, is kind of what you expect from a game like this. Yeah, just really cool so far. Um, like that it has like a chapter progression as well. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, like it has, it, that implies there's a clear end to like a storyline here, which is mm -hmm. really cool. Um, four player, four player, four player multiplayer. <clears throat> you can see that there's presumably, I mean, we've already seen the, the ice mountains is over there, you know. Uh -huh. There's presumably more to this map, and again, you go to dungeons all over the place. Um, and then, yeah, let's see the yeah, yeah multiplayer. Multiplayer, multiplayer and crossplay is possible. Okay. Where are they again? Relationships. Yes. Here's our romance options. Argyle, which, Argyle. as we said initially, we were like, he's the, like probably the most vanilla out of all these characters, but. When we first met Argyle, we walked up to him, and what did he have in his palm? Holding in his hand, but a little frog. A little teensy frog. And he was just like, kind of like, adoringly staring at it. They love so, frog. Argyle, pretty high up in the rankings because of that. We got Gallon. I just really a love cutie. them. Love the whole vibe. They feel like a, a badass adventure. Like they could take care of me, you know. <laughs> Got Jack. Jack is uh, Zach's day one. I really love the 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 body shapes on all these characters and mm -hmm. everything, you know. Got Namashal. I was saying Namashal gives me like be Baldur's Gate, you know, fans will know this. Asterian vibes where he seems like he's a little snarky. Seems like a little sassy. Might be the like the romance interest that's like a little bit of a dick to you <laughs> at first. But who knows? We don't know. We, we don't know. We haven't met them yet. They have a kind smile. We got Pep Pepper, though. Pepper is first glance, yes, top tier. Yes. You know? They really all are, though, is the thing. And then Peria. Peria is just I, so I sweet. really like Peria. Peria could be, like, a little, like, I'm evil. But also, Peria could be a little sweetie, too. You, you know, it's hard to tell. Yeah. Peria could be, like, I love nature and I'm in harmony. You know, like, could be that character or... I, I could kill you in your sleep. <laughs> Why not both? And then just to, to show the other character. Yeah, Pepper. There we go. Man, yeah, <laughs> our delay is like weird with, with all, all over the place today. Yeah. Um, here's all the characters you can hang out with and just be friends with and get friendship events with. I, I was going to say, Drac is a freaking skinny lord. <laughs> I can't tell if that's... He's, I can't he's tell. wearing leggings. Is Viddy coming up with a bit? Or is Viddy stammering? I don't know. <laughs> Me and Glory are right in step, though. Because I would say those are kind of my top three. I do, love, I do love TikTok. Argyle, but... Orlick is a, a cutie. I cannot wait to meet this character and become yeah. besties. That's there's several oh, we haven't that's right. met yet. So with friends, so with the with the, the the romance, right? You can end up dating and marrying, right? One of the things that I, I always feel is missing from other farming sims is you can become friends with people and you can have friendship events, but then it just then that's it, right? You can end up with hitting the us at the top level of your friendship, becoming besties with someone, which is such a fun thing, right? Like to have that thing to to strive for in your friendships, you know, mm -hmm. just like you have in the romance. So that's really cute. And they specifically said that you can have as many besties yeah. as you want. You can it's be besties with you everyone. have one monogamous bestie, which is a toxic social construct. Wisp mother though? Wisp I want, mother? Wisp mother can be my mother. Can we can we achieve Wisp that? Mother is my mother. Can we achieve that? Zito, Zito looks so cool. Zito is so cute. Why can't we romance Zito? The big scarf and the sparkly wings. So good. But yeah, that's that's our our big stream with Fay Farm. Thank you all so much for coming out again. Just like I said, we couldn't have done this without y'all come you know coming out and supporting all the other streams, and y'all came out and showed a lot of support here today. Appreciate you. Wisp mother is mother. So excited for this to come out. Play with everyone else. <clears throat> Again, 
if you do choose to buy it, if you use our link, even down the line, I think, I don't know how act, how long it stays active, but if you choose to buy it and you and you purchase it down the line, yeah, if you use our link right there, exclamation point Fay Farm, it, it shows the developers that our community bought, you know, bought the game. Shows that we helped move product, which we I know we have done several times with our streams and with our site, you know? Yeah. But this is a nice concrete way for them to know. VGG sent me. You're going to the back room, you're like looking around. You're... <laughs> hey, VGG sent me. Yeah. And then they go, wow, so worth it to give them codes for every single game we have ever made. And then we get to play those for you too. I love these. I, let's go through all of them. I want to see the rest. <laughs> that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> Aww. <laughs> see, that's much better. The way all the other townsfolk cry, they like turn away from yeah. you and they like are have their heads down and it looks like it's shamed. like snot coming out of their nose. <laughs> Whoa, that was cute. Oh, do it again. I missed it. I was reading chat. Oh, that's cute. I like the dance, though. I like how the dance ends like in a b-boy pose. <laughs> it's so cute. But yeah, chat. All right, let's do it that's here. That's the you stream. Can... It's Are you, pizza you can time, just stand gamers. There. No, I know. I just... Yeah, it's pizza time. Eat your pizza, everybody. 